Paul VI called him a marvel for our times. Pope John Paul II called him the first apostle of the new evangelization and proclaimed him blessed on April 27, 2003. Of himself, he said, if God had found someone more unworthy, he would have chosen him. At 16, when at prayer before Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, God gave him a vision of using media that would spread all over the world. The very day World War I began, he took his first steps to make this media apostolate a reality. He believed that the media were precious gifts of God and the church has a responsibility to use them. He believed in consecrating modern technology. He believed women have a unique evangelizing mission to carry out. His spirituality was simple. You were born of the Eucharist. Your food is the Eucharist. Your spirituality is the gospel lived in its entirety, as explained by St. Paul the Apostle. Your mother and model is Mary. He wanted the Bible to be read in every home and oversaw the printing of millions of Bibles in many languages. During his lifetime, he opened hundreds of Catholic liturgical book and media stores, many with blessed sacrament chapels. He was a newspaper, magazine and book publisher, a broadcaster and filmmaker. He was very devoted to Our Lady and stated that he couldn't even give an exhortation without first praying the rosary. He had a basilica built in Rome to Mary, Queen of Apostles. He was present at every session of Vatican II. He is a spiritual father to tens of thousands. His vision for our media world is urgently needed today. Who is this chosen, unique, and very contemporary man of God? Blessed James Alberione, founder of the Pauline family. He founded 10 congregations and institutes for priests, religious, and laity, which have spread to over 50 countries. This Pauline family is called to be St. Paul Living Today, Society of St. Paul, Media Priests and Brothers, Daughters of St. Paul, Media Sisters, Sisters of the Divine Master, Liturgical Contemplative Sisters, Sisters of Jesus, the Good Shepherd, Parish Sisters, Sisters of Mary, Queen of Apostles, Vocation Sisters, Institute of Jesus the Priest, Diocesan Priests and Bishops, Institute of Mary Most Holy of the Annunciation, Single Women, Institute of St. Gabriel the Archangel, Single Men, Institute of the Holy Family, Married Couples, Families, Pauline Cooperators, Lay Collaborators. Help us tell his story in a one-hour documentary 